Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from somewhere close to Lake Clark Shores where I grew up here in uh, uh, Lake Worth and I'm on a boat as you can tell and I'm with a subscriber, a really good friend of mine. Let me introduce him to you, Mr. John. Hey everybody, how you doing? <laughs> uh, Mr. John and Carol are wonderful people that invited me to come out on the boat today. Uh, Carol's back at the house, she's making some lunch for us later. We got us a couple of rods, we might try to wet a hook. And uh, we've got a very nice little boat here. He's got him a Key West uh, with a 90 Yamaha in the back. And he has a house like right on the canal here with a boat lift, uh, like something like that right there that he puts it on, keep it nice and dry. And once we get down here to some bigger water out of the canal, uh, we'll video a little bit more and show you a couple of clips. But we're looking to have a good time. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida. This is something different, right? We're definitely crushing it out here. We'll get back to you soon. All right, so here we are uh, fishing, and that's why they call it fishing. We're not doing much catching, but we're having a good conversation. We're enjoying ourselves. Uh, we got the anchor out. Let me uh, hand this rod to John for a second, and I'll just kind of turn the camera around and show you where we're at. Uh, it's all a uh, part of uh, the guy fishing over here. They're running around with their trolling motors. Got some residents over there. And we're just sitting right over here in this little cove. Uh, but there is wind. It was blowing us off the spot. So we just threw the anchor out. Uh, we're in about five feet of water. We're just throwing it at the bank over there. Uh, I've got a, actually a live worm on here. And um, John's got his going. He's got, him on a, he's got one on a bobber over there. My bobber broke. So I just said, I'll fish the bottom and uh, ask us if we care if we catch one. Of we course we do. <laughs> we want one. <laughs> Even a, heck, I'll, I'll video anything if I, if I catch it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really a nice little boat he's got here. This thing runs like a, a sewing machine. It's got that little Yamaha 90. Uh, I don't know, how big is this boat? Like 13 foot? Uh, 17. Is it? Oh, it's a 17. 17. Okay. So uh, this is as long as the um, camper I'm thinking about buying. <laughs> I'm going to be living on the inside of, of this 17-foot boat with walls on it. But um, it'll get it. I mean, 90 horsepower uh, Yamaha, it jumps up and planes off in a hurry. And the uh, canal here, all this water, you can see how calm it is. So we were skinning it back. But uh, he's a very good boat driver. And uh, whenever we come up on um, people that have the boat, it's not on a uh, boat lift. It's sitting in the water. Uh, he's respectful and slows down and goes by at idle. So we don't throw a lot of wake on them and everything. Uh, but it's a beautiful part of South Florida here to live on this um, Lake Osborne canals. It feeds into everything. It goes all the way up to the airport in West Palm Beach, uh, Southern Boulevard, all the way down to, uh, probably connects to Lake Ida in Delray somewhere, but certainly all around Lake Clark Shores and. 6th Avenue and all that. So it's just like going back in time. I'm out here again uh, from the high school days. It's been that long since I've been out here on this uh, fresh water. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know when we catch the big one. <laughs> Talk to you soon. All right, everybody, we're just getting ready to leave. Look at this blue heron. He's got him a fish in his mouth. And he just landed. Let me zoom in. You can still see it. He's caught more than we have. Have a nice little fish. <laughs> he, he didn't want us to take it from him, so he's gonna go over here and eat it privately. Funny. Where is he? I lost him, I can't see. Anyway, we seen him. So we're out here in the uh, little wider body of water and John's about ready to kick it up a little bit. I'll show you the guys from the back. Probably gonna be a little wind noise. I don't have the mic, sorry about that. Deal with it. It's indicating we're only a couple of feet deep. I 
But you thought we were gonna scream underneath that bridge. <laughs> so uh, now we've reached the area of the water where I know exactly where I'm at. Uh, this is John Prince Park RV campground uh, where it's usually booked uh, way ahead of time by Canadians every year. They come down to South Florida for the winter to get out of the snow. They shut their utilities off and they just sit here. And so this is one of the only campground RV parks there is. This bridge right there behind us is actually Van Road. And this is Lake Osborne Estates. All these houses around here used to cost nothing. And now they bring a bunch of money because of the times we're in and because they're on the lake. And then of course Lake Worth High School where I went to school is as the crow flies is right that way. But uh, there's your little RV campground, some good spots right here on the water to enjoy full hookups and over there is the main park where i've videoed before and took many walks there's a small uh, little camp right there called our pod anyway i just thought i'd share that with you are over here where you can put your boat in in the big, uh, the big part of the lake. All right, everybody, we're uh, heading back to John and Carol's place. We had a good time out here, but I didn't even notice this when we came uh, from the bridge uh, going the other direction. This is uh, Hypolexo Road, and this is that um, restaurant that I came at with Janine and Jim, uh, the uh, where they have Taco Tuesday. It's a great it used to be the Anchor Inn uh, years ago, and my friend Pete that lives in the Philippines, I used to have car shows out here in the back too. He used to come here with his hot rod. I'm trying to remember the name of the place right now. It skips my, uh, my memory, uh, but uh, it's a really cool place. All tiki bar, tiki restaurant, good food. You know, it's uh, reasonably priced food. It's not anything fancy, but good burgers, fish and chips, like that. Um, there should be a sign over here. Try to open it up. We sit right back there. Sorry if there's wind noise. I think there's a sign up here near the road. We're actually going to go underneath this bridge. I'll video for you. Do we need to remove this at all? No, sir. Oh, there it is. The hive. Is it called the hive? Yeah. And so. Uh, you can park there or you can snake away snake your way around the back and park back there. You have the hive. It used to be the anchor inn for years and years. Beautiful little setting there. Watch your noggin, Baker. Yeah, we did all this during the high school days. Come under these bridges. Oh, we got it. No biggie. I dragged my head. We used to go really fast and actually ski through here uh, when we were kids. If we had a little small boat with a tiller engine on it, and we knew that we weren't going to, you know, hit this unless we stood up. It's a little lower there, right there at the end. Catch anything? No, not yet. Yeah, we didn't catch anything either. Seems like to be, you'd have to hide behind a tree to bait your hook. Yeah, you to say. We'd say, how's the fishing? He'd say, you have to hide behind a tree to bait your hook. 
I just asked John, I said, who's gonna clean all the fish? Right? No fish. Today. A friend of mine used to say that when we didn't catch anything. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. I want to thank John again very much uh, for having me out here today. Uh, he invited me the other day when I was here, and his lovely wife, Carol, she's got a little lunch for us uh, waiting when we get back. They're such nice people, and all of you out there are nice. So thanks for watching the video. Hate to leave South Florida, but in a few days, I'm going to be uh, moseying my, my way on out of here. Still got a few more days, though. It's been great though the weather's been great and this is really uh kind of the one of the crescendos here coming out and taking a trip back in time uh going down these canals and this is this is an amazing little boat i mean you wouldn't think twice about you know and not starting or doing anything this is a very very reliable boat and john's a very good mariner a very good boater and uh, we had a great time i felt very comfortable and enjoyed it so I say we definitely crushed it. <laughs>